Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marshinsky. So do keep in mind this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody out there. This could be somebody who you have had a relationship with. This could be a situationship. This could be somebody who you have exchanged glances with. You know there's something there, but somebody's not saying anything. Hmm. And there are boundaries. So, um, a few of you may feel that these cards are, oh wow, okay, um, so I'm going to change my statement now because of the type of cards that just came out. So some of you may feel that these cards are actually your cards. <laughs> However, I am looking into your person of interest. So it turns out you guys have a spiritual connection. I'm surprised how many times this card comes out. And you're overwhelmed. Yep, that's very common. Something I have seen repeatedly. <coughs> wow, I just choked. <coughs> Guys, I'm getting over a cold and a flu. As some of you already know, last time I was like this. I'm getting better. But um, just forgive me if I'm going to be, you know, coughing and whatnot, all that kind of stuff. All right. We have here compassion, grief, boundaries, nourishment, wisdom, sexuality, mystery, crisis, surrender. Under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. Okay. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Leo, the situation that I've put you into, I should never really have done that. I realize now that you already had a lot on your plate. You already had a lot of things that were on your mind that were bothering you, that were bringing you down, weighing you down. And all I did was make the matter worse. I was really just thinking about myself. But now I'm starting to think about what I did. And I do have compassion for you. I have empathy for you. I feel for what you're feeling now. It wasn't right. And for this reason, I now do feel very guilty. I am not proud of what I did. I feel guilty. There is remorse. There is regret. There is sadness and melancholy. These feelings that I feel, I find it hard to think of this connection in any other way now. I feel as though I am grieving the loss of someone that I have lost forever. It's as if I know that I will not be able to see you again. And that does break my heart. Because now, after all this time, I've realized the value of you. And I hold you high, like a star in the dark sky, but now that star no longer exists. I feel that I have lost that star. And my heart now lives in darkness. 
For this reason, I also keep my distance. I now keep boundaries and I, for one, want to maintain these boundaries because I realize that in you I have found somebody who is truly beautiful spiritually emotionally physically you are someone who makes me feel whole who fulfills me on many levels and the things that I've said the things that I've done whatever I have gone through and whatever I put you through I now feel different about all of this I am more wiser I am no longer like the person I used to be I have learned from my lesson and I dare not make that mistake again I know now that you your body is sacred and because you are so pure I don't want to corrupt you I don't want to do what I did this is why I'm keeping my distance because it turns out you are someone more special and because you're special I don't want to do to you certain things that I would do to someone else who I could just say hi and bye to I can't do that to you because I feel that you and I are spiritually connected we have a sacred bond there's a feeling that I get when I think about you and I'm very comfortable it's like an old glove that fits just right and I didn't even have to squeeze my way in there everything is just perfect and this is also why it's overwhelming for me because I've never experienced such a thing before I am very overwhelmed with these emotions with these feelings and I need time to sort them out if I get that time maybe I might be able to but I don't know when that's going to happen I know I need to make a choice I need to settle down I need to make sense of the situation but my mind is in the middle of a crisis I feel that there's so much going on and I just can't sort things out for this reason I'm unable to make a choice I'm unable to make any type of decision and so we are in limbo overall I do feel that in this connection I have surrendered myself to you and that I belong to you and that you belong to me I am now letting the universe take charge because I really don't know what to do all right Leo wow it's very strange sometimes there's these spurts of energy that come out during some parts in a month or times in a month I don't know when but this card has been coming out a lot and that's my past life card guys <clears throat> you're dealing with somebody who is either a twin flame a soulmate a karmic partner it's not easy this relationship is not easy you can feel their energy they can feel yours you feel that you know each other you've known each other from before it's like you're so comfortable with this person you look into their eyes 
and you just feel that you're at home with them. You know it's them. It's weird. It's the weirdest feeling. And many of you may resonate with that. Um, some of you that might not know about this type of connection, I'm just going to announce it. Um, I do have another channel and I do have some videos there that are related to past life. So there is sensually intense spiritual connections. There's also a video called past life and spiritual connections. Um, and then I have three other videos um, that talk about soulmate, karmic partner and uh, a twin flame. So you might want to have a look at that if some of you want to know a bit more about this connection because I answer the why, why you feel the way that you do. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. So here I'll be looking into any obstacles, any issues, any reasons why there was an issue in the first place or in recent times, why is there still a problem? <clears throat> I see here, this is something to do. Ho oh, ho, wow, we. Is somebody here having an affair? A very small percentage of you. I'm getting one, three, 13. 13% 13 of you that are watching this have a third party situation and it's really prevalent. I can like, you got the tradition card and then you have sacrifice. So I do know, um, I've done these cards so many times now I, I'm starting to memorize the words. So I do know with tradition, the issue here with tradition is that the person you're dealing with, they don't want to conform to the way society thinks the way that they should be. So they want to do things a bit differently. They want the world to allow them to do things their way. So they may want to have one person in their life and maybe another, maybe even be open about it, maybe have an open relationship in that way. But the rest of the world wouldn't understand, they wouldn't respect this type of union. Now, whatever type of relationship this is, it could be, it could be something related to getting involved with somebody who may be from a different religion, different culture, different society, somebody who has a different uh, financial status. Whatever the case is, there's something here doing with beliefs. There's an issue with beliefs. And this person wants to change according to what they feel is right. But there have been things that are restricting them. Now, coming to the sacrifice card. Unfortunately, Leo, at the time, and this is still going on, I'm sensing, this person is not able to let go of a particular person, place or thing or something like that. They're not able to let go and make the sacrifice that's needed in order for both of you to come together. This could be, maybe they're with somebody else. Maybe they have a job that's very far away and they've worked so hard for it and they just can't let it go. But you want them to work close to home so that you can have more quality time together. It could be any type of sacrifice. Here, the problem is, is that this person is unwilling to. They're thinking about all the advantages, all of the disadvantages, but they're just not able to make up their mind. One of the main problems and the main reason why they can't make up their mind is because of the tradition that they're kind of stuck in, the society that they're stuck in, the way things are supposed to be. They're not able to change or rearrange that because that's not how it's been. And if they do change that and if they do make a sacrifice, they just might be the outcast of their family or their society. Um, they might be disowned. A lot of things happen in different places, different cultures. So I do see that this is a problem. Third party can mean, yes, an affair. But third party can also mean a person, somebody who is a child that needs attention. Um, and because of that, you're not able to give your time, your energy, your effort 
to your significant other because of someone else. It could be, like I said, a job. Somebody that is needing to take time out, but then they're not able to because they're stuck at their job. And they have valid reasons why they're there. So it could be a variety of things, but these two cards really go hand in hand. Tradition and sacrifice. Mm. I'd like to know how this resonates for some of you in the comments below, because these two cards are really um, in sync. <clears throat> okay, we also have here the Beginner's Tarot deck. So I'm going to have a look at any actions, any intentions. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. Give me a second, everybody. Okay. <clears throat> We have here Seven of Cups. And this person is daydreaming, not really taking action. They're just, oh, they're in fantasy land. It's like, wake up. <sighs> they're not taking action and that's really upsetting you. They're not making a choice or taking, taking the steps that's necessary for a decision. And the reason why is, yes, they do have a lot of choices. They have some options. Um, you are the center of their attention. But they also know that they've hurt you too. They do know this. Here you have the Seven of Cups and next is the Five of Cups. They know that they've hurt you. And they're also regretting certain things that they have said and done. Their own behavior. How could I have behaved like this with Leo? It makes them feel very shitty. It makes them feel really bad for the way that they have mistreated you. Here we also have the Three of Pentacles. Some of you may have worked with this person in the past. Some of you may be working with them now. And if, if you're not working with this person or if you don't have that type of history, this individual does want to, you know, take you to the side and <clears throat> manifest a better relationship with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, taking you to the side. That's not what I meant. Not that way, guys. <laughs> So, this person does want to be with you. However, they want to manifest a relationship with you. They want to construct something with you. And construct meaning they see that there's other people here that are in your life. They do see this. But they do want your attention. The, the only thing is they don't know how to get it. So, they're going to try to find some type of excuse to come back into your life and to try to grab that attention. Here, <clears throat> we have the Four of Wands. This person does feel that there's some type of a spiritual connection. They do feel this. They also feel that it's time for closure. It's time to move things along and have better days ahead. They want stability. They want closure. Because everything that happened before, there was a lot of instability. They want something solid. They want a home. They want a future with you. And they are going to want to express this to you. In the future, they are. Why are they doing this? Because now they realize that you are their empress. You are magnificent. You're beautiful. You're brilliant. You're handsome. This person thinks of you as a long-term thinker. Somebody who is very nurturing, caring, protecting. A provider. Somebody who has a lot of integrity. And does things with a lot of dignity. You have, they feel you're very dignified. And established. They feel very much at home with you. They think you're the perfect person for them. You are long-term relationship material. <laughs> I was going to say marriage material, but some of you don't want to get married, and that's fine. But this person does see you as somebody who is um, perfect to be in a long-term 
committed relationship. I mean, you do have here, you know, the Four of Wands and the Empress. Beautiful cards. So, Leo, do I see this person reaching out to you? I see them making an attempt. Yes. Is it going to happen anytime soon? <clears throat> no, it's going to take some time. Because they're going to be daydreaming and wondering, sulking. And eventually they're going to get out of this state of this, this mindset that they have, this um, gray cloud around them. And then they'll be able to make and take some action towards you. Okay. going to do a quick prayer. All right. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So be assertive. <clears throat> In this connection, Leo, you might have been in a relationship at some point where you just kept going along with what was happening. You never really put your foot down. Um, it's important to do that. Here they are telling you to be assertive. This is from Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. They're telling you to be assertive. So let this person know what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with going forward uh, whenever you get a chance to speak to them. For now, they are telling you to let go. Let go of the situation. Let go of any issues that may have been surrounding or any belief-related issues that have um, been surrounding this entire situation. The timing will be perfect. This is not going to happen any time that you think. This is going to happen in divine timing when the time is right. Just like a few times before I've mentioned um, the example of a cake, right? The cake is there for a certain amount of time. We know that it, it takes time to bake. If you pull it out too soon, then it will sink in the middle. It will not be a proper cake and it will be raw and it will just, you can't eat it, right? Um, the ingredients are there. That's just like you. You've put everything there. You've put all the effort in. Wait, they've said it before I even was going to get to that. So with the cake rising, you need to understand that you are fine. You're already there. You're at a higher level. This person is not. So their timing needs to be perfect at that time when it's supposed to happen. You will not know when it's going to happen. But when it does, you will be in the right state of mind, emotionally, physically, spiritually, to be able to handle this. Meditation and prayer will bring you answers. We do have that card. You can call upon Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel through Christ. Um, so we can pray to Christ through Christ, we can get to Jehovah, his father. He has other names. From there, you can call upon Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to guide you and to protect you and to provide you with answers um, in this entire situation. Now, why do I say the Christ consciousness? Because this card does indicate Christ. That's why I say his name. Here, we also have if you believe. So, believing and putting that intent you know, that, that intention, right? You have to have that belief that things are going to work out because then you'll be sending out that positive energy. So it is important to actually believe what you want to do and make it happen. It also says here, choose a new direction. So choosing a new direction for me, there's two things. One, you can try a different method of approach. Maybe you've been approaching the situation from a very different angle. And this time you need to do things differently in order to find a different result. So you do the same method, you get the same result. You change your method, you'll get a different result. Also with this card, choosing a new direction. Ultimately, your destination is always going to be the same. Wherever you're headed, you're headed. But you may need to change your route, your road, your pathway. You may need to go over, under, around, this is all metaphorical, right? So the direction of where you're headed is, is the same. It's just that you need to kind of find a different route towards it. And that goes 
kind of the same thing where I was talking about the method needs to be different. You're still going to land somewhere, but you have to try in a different way. They are telling you to wait. Very clear. One word. <laughs> wait. Um, we also have here peaceful resolution. That's very, very good. So some of you, Leo, some of you have had an argument and disagreements. I'm getting the word, di oh, I'm getting the word distrust and conflict. So some of you have had a lot of, you know, uh, like hard times with this person. So they are telling you that there's going to be a peaceful resolution as time goes by. You will be able to reach that state in this relationship, which is really good. I'm happy to see that. And eventually when there's peaceful resolution, you can at that point let them know. Um, be assertive. If they, if they want to continue this relationship, which I do see, you let them know what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with, what you want, um, what you don't want, right? It's important to have that open communication with this person. People are not mind readers. Um, it's best not to be sarcastic. Do not mock them. Do not taunt them. They are in a state where they don't even know how to approach you right now. And they're trying to work on it. So when they do, be firm, be assertive, but also be, if you need to, be a little bit compassionate because now this person is trying their best. For some of you that don't want to be the, with this person, you don't have to be. This reading will probably not resonate for you at that point then. Um, there could be a peaceful resolution and then you just part your ways. But it's good to sometimes have that closure, right? With the Four of Wands, it's good to have that closure and have that stability. Even if you decide not to be with this person, at the very least, you know that you were able to overcome the difficulties. And as civilized human beings, you can, you know, part your ways, go about your lives. All right, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance. Do let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys again. Take care and stay safe. Bye now.